banning handguns in Ontario, and he says he'll do it within a year of the June 2nd election if he wins. That's the pitch from Ontario Liberal leader Stephen Del Duca. He argues gun violence is getting worse. Well, is it? Let's look at the numbers. According to Stats Canada data from last November, firearms-related homicides in Ontario dropped from 2019 to 2020. They actually dropped, with Toronto seeing a 22% decrease in the rate of firearm-related homicides from 1.03 per 100,000 population to 0.8. But there are other stats. In Toronto also, shootings have gone up 47% since February, and deaths by gunfire in Toronto are up 57% compared to last year. So will banning all handguns really do anything or just punish legal gun owners who are not responsible for violent crime? And how would the ban actually work? The leader of the Ontario Liberal Party, Stephen Del Duca, joins us to explain. Sir, good to have you on the program. Uh, why, why do you want to ban all handguns in Ontario? What, what do you think the result will that be? Well, look, you, first of all, Evan, thanks for having me on the program. <clears throat> Let me just say, as you pointed out with the stats that you provided just a second ago, right now here in, in, in Ontario, in places like Toronto, we see the numbers going dramatically in the wrong direction. We hear on a regular basis the heartbreaking stories of people who are being injured or tragically losing their life to gun violence, gun deaths. Uh, just the other day, uh, out in Scarborough, five individuals, five men coming out of evening prayers from their mosque uh, were victims of gun violence, random, uh, five of them shot. We heard heartbreaking stories a couple of weeks ago of two individuals who were killed, in that case by an individual who had an arsenal of legal guns at his disposal, according to police. So I believe the choice is clear here. I think it's so important for us to protect the safety of the people of Ontario, and that's why as Premier, I will move as quickly as I can in partnership with the federal government to deliver a handgun ban. But Mr. Del Duca, you know the pushback and you've heard the arguments not only from the conservatives, but from others. Legal gun owners are not never, but are very rarely the cause of this kind of gun violence. Where is it coming from? Illegal gun owners, gangs, smugglers, you got to put the, the limited resources to stop them, and then gun violence and homicides will go down. Why take away guns from legal gun owners who are not the major cause of crime? So first of all, I want to, I want to be really clear about this. I think you have to do everything. I think, yes, you have to deal with, in partnership again with the federal government, uh, the flowing in of guns that might be illegal from other parts of Canada or other parts uh, of the world. For sure, you have to do that. But let's not be so easily uh, quick, I guess, to dismiss the fact that there are still a lot of crimes that take place here in Ontario. Uh, by the government's own admission earlier today, somewhere in the neighborhood of about 20 percent of all of the crimes involving guns involve guns that are legal. So in a city like Toronto, which so far this year, if I understand correctly, has seen 50 incidents of gun violence, we're talking about at a minimum 10 of those so far this year, and we're not yet in May where the guns that were involved were legal. Here, let me, let me point out something else really quickly. When you define legal versus illegal, frankly, if someone owns a legal gun and it's stolen and then it's used in the commission of a crime, doesn't it therefore become illegal at that moment? So let's not get stuck in the weeds of legal versus illegal. Let's but, fight but, but, all but, but, causes I mean, of have... crime and deal with this. But, but, you know, are you using a broadsword when you might need a scalpel here? Um, look, um, first of all, how would you do it? I know you want a gun buyback program. There's a cost issue there. The estimated, I'll sure. give people an example, yeah. the compensation package federally for the buyback program after the Liberals banned assault style weapons, as they call them, according to the parliamentary budget officer, was at minimum $756 million with addition, in addition to administration costs. So how much could mm. your plan cost? And how would you do it, sir? Would you need to yeah. change legislation? So let's let's talk about the how first, and then we'll get we'll get to the buyback program that we we might have to go forward with. So let's also remember that we now have a willing partner in a federal government that has made it quite clear. The, the current federal government in their last campaign platform said that they want to give power uh, or authority or or flexibility to provinces that are prepared to move forward and lead in this area. So I'm saying today that in 43 days, if the people of Ontario elect me as premier, I'm not going to wait. I want our province to lead in this regard. I think that choice is really clear between Ontario Liberals and the Ford Conservatives. But how, how would so you do I will, it? But, I, but how would you? Well, I will. 
Well, the, fe the federal government has basically said they will enable provinces that want to go. It could be federal legislation. It could be empowering the provinces to actually introduce their legislation. We didn't have that commitment from a federal government until the last few months. So I'm not going to wait. We're going to move forward in this direction right away. As for the buyback program, as for the buyback program, the federal government has also allocated about a billion dollars nationally to support the outcome of something like a handgun ban. Ontario is about 40 percent of the, of the country's population. That's a four hundred million dollar opportunity, again, that Doug Ford doesn't right. want to take advantage of. But I do. So well, I want to work okay, with the but feds. Doug, but but you're, I know you're blaming Doug Ford for this. But as, as my former colleague, now he's at Global News, but Colin DeMello pointed out, as you saw it, too, he tweeted out there are 51 gun deaths in Toronto in 2018 uh, in Doug Ford's first year. But under the Liberals in 20. 2005, there was also 52. In other words, it hasn't really exploded under Doug Ford. The Ontario well, government well, is currently investing more than $267 million over three years to provide police mm -hmm. services across the province to safeguard communities. So I guess my but, question is, um, yeah. you, you, why do you think he's not doing enough? Well, because, Evan, you, you started off this segment of your program tonight by talking about stats that are current. So this is 2022. We're not in 2018 and we're not in 2003. And we see the numbers over the last few months going dramatically in the wrong direction. Too many people who are at risk in this province. I believe a premier uh, governing Ontario has a fundamental responsibility to protect the people of this province. And Doug Ford's made it clear he's fighting this every step of the way because he's you know, he's backing the gun lobby, that narrow group of special interests, well, and I'm not. Well, what, well, what, about, not. what do you say to legal, but what's your message to legal gun owners across Ontario? We're saying, I'm safe. Uh, Stephen Del Duca's treating me like a criminal. Well, again, I'm going to point out the individual who about 15 days ago went out as a legal gun owner and randomly killed two individuals, two men, 21-year-old and a 35-year-old here in the city sir, of Toronto. But respectfully, sir, that's a terrible and situation. I'm not going to minimize it, is, it, but people have, right. have used a car to kill people and you don't ban cars. I, the, well, I guess the question well, is, is the solution here proportionate to the problem? Well, I believe it is when you're talking about the numbers that we're seeing, when you talk about the tragedies that are involved here, and by the government's own admission earlier today, somewhere in the neighborhood of, at a, at a minimum, 20% of the gun crime is being committed by in, in right. using legal guns. And so there's obviously a significant problem here. And the Ford conservatives are unwilling to move in this direction because they're looking out for their own political base, those narrow special interests. And I'm not. And, and frankly, I'm unapologetic right. about this. The, 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 the choice is clear here. Ontario liberals will work with the feds to deliver a handgun ban because it's right. the right thing to do to protect people here in Ontario. Okay, uh, I appreciate you coming on. Um, obviously, as you say, we're, we're not far away from an election June 2nd in your province, Ontario Liberal Leader Stephen Del Duca. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate it.